I'm Kimberly with the Fast Quarter Shop, and I'm here with Lisa Bonjean of Primitive Gatherings. And this weekend, I saw that Lisa doesn't use a quarter inch foot on her machine, and I do, and I saw that she posted a picture on her machine with blue painter's tape, and I couldn't figure out how it worked, so she's gonna show us. The first thing I do is I need to determine my scant quarter inch. So I take a fine, skinny ruler, and I bring down my needle just to the right side of my quarter inch. And then I take some tape and I would layer multiple layers of tape and just keep layering, 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 layering about 10 layers. And then I would take my rotary cutter and I would trim it to about a half inch. So you get a really nice straight line so when you're sewing you've got something to... Yes, a perfect straight break. line, okay? So then I take that and I lay it right on the edge of the ruler. Yeah, hold that down, that's nice. And I securely rub it on there so it holds nice. And then I can lift up and remove this. I wanna test it to make sure mm -hmm. it's perfect. So what I did is I cut a piece of fabric an inch wide and then two other ones, and these just happen to be three quarters, the, the two light ones. So the gray one is an inch and these were three quarters. And then I just sewed one to the right one to the left, press them open, and now I want to measure this inside, and it has to be a half inch. And it measures perfect. perfect. I know that when I piece, everything will be that perfect quarter inch by using the scant. And then to make sure that I can reference this at any time, like let's say we're piecing something and then we need to re you know, remove this and do some free motion quilting or something, I take a business card, I lay down my presser foot, and I stitch that perfect scant quarter inch. So then, if I need to find it, instead of getting the ruler out and all that, I just lay that down into my stitching, place this right back in, and there I'm ready to go off in no time. And I always have that reference point without having to go back to do all this work. And I think it's really helpful because I constantly change from an open toe foot to a quarter inch foot to an open toe foot to a quarter inch foot all day long. And this will really help save time because you don't have to change feet. 